back to the Freddie Kisumu's article, my friends and families. Um, not one of these columnists wrote that East Indian lives matter. And that goes for David Hines and others. And nothing from a man who is a trade unionist, who's supposed to be a fair man, even if he has a poor party, love or loyalty, Lincoln Lewis. A man who was looked upon at one time as even presidential by many of us. Look what he has done to his legacy. Did they deliberately choose not to write on what happened to that 16-year-old girl and her grandmother who were caught up in the Region 5 mayhem, or are we hardly, harshly judging them? Are we judging them too harshly? He's asking. Let's see what he says, Frank Kisun. In this context, we should appraise the new organization founded by David Hines with a most exciting yet intriguing name in the context of it being birthed by David Hines. Oh, really? I didn't know about that. Oh, what is this? David Hines creating an organization? Let us see. It is titled Society for African Guyanese Empowerment. So, you know, okay, nothing wrong if he is a racial man. But personally, I want empowerment for all Guyanese. From what I see, President Dr. Irfan Ali wants empowerment for all Guyanese. Brigadier Mark Phillips wants empowerment for all Guyanese. Vice President Dr. Barra Jack Deo wants empowerment for all Guyanese. The entire cabinet, government ministers and parliamentarians, people of sane society, we will all want parliament empowerment for all Guyanese because we have poverty, pain, disgrace, shame, starvation in some Indian community more than the other communities especially since, calculatedly, Moses Nagamutu, Mr. Ramjatan, Harmon, and Granger closed down the sugar estates to disaffect and to create intentionally pain, hardship, and degradation on the peoples. Back to the article. It is titled Society for African Guyanese and Empowerment. Is David Hines a dangerous mind, like some of those like letter writers, or is he genuine? This man wants to empower African Guyanese, or is he, is he looking for African hegemony? In September, Hines is seeking African empowerment. From March to August 2020, Hines was attempting to achieve African hegemony in a context where modern democratic institutions would be abolished, where he would have complete rule, control everything by his people, recost it what it will. That is what it means by hegemony. So that they will control everything and to hell with democracy. In other words, basic appointments. He even encouraged the former president to go against international norm, decency, and elegance. So he wanted democratic institutions would be abolished. Two pieces of ed evidence need to be looked at. He intoned that if the Caribbean Court of Justice ruled in favor of the Caribbean observed recount, it would be tantamount to a coup against the Granger presidency. This man who is a doctor of uh, philosophy and politics is actually saying that if the Caribbean Court of Justice, after they have threatened and told lies on them, does not rule in favor of the Cranger presidency, that it is like they are, they are committing a, 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 an act or a coup against Cranger presidency. So what is the mind of this man? I've noticed some um, man who truly had respect for Lincoln Lewis, Beginning after now that they have lost and accepted, and he's trying to soften up a little bit. Some will say opportunistically, I will say, yes, but listen to the man. So will African empowerment be effected in the context of the rule of law? Okay, he's asking, they want to make it law. Not one in the panel of judges was Guyanese. None ever lived or worked in Guyana. Hines simply did not accept the rule 
of law, according to Freddie Gisson. Secondly, during the five-month impasse, he argued that there are greater sociological exigencies that Guyana needs to examine and that must be prioritized, prioritized rather than the 2020 election result. <laughs> so, uh, Freddie is saying technically that there are greater things more important than to, to put emphasis on the results of the election. He was rightfully talking about the ethnic volcano. Then he sought to trigger a device to explode the vo volcano. He wanted to create like a kind of a civil war. We are hate and pain, but we are he could become a power in that new government of clandestine appointment and enchantment. Back to the article. Then he sought to trigger, okay, he insisted if a result has to be made, then it should be for the Granger government or the Granger regime. They just got to make an announcement for him. No matter what, democracy must not prevail. This was not a search for African empowerment but the declaration of African hegemony or total control, uh, a, a kind of a, a, of a revolution of evil thoughts, the total control in a multiracial Guyana. So one set of people to control, according, according to Freddie Kisson, ladies and gentlemen, that is his view. He seems to be making sense. This man as an analyst is a hero in Guyana who needs to be protected. I just hope one day he will speak about my viewpoints and how I try to call the people to not be aggressive if they feel threatened to protect themselves with a peace stick or a baton and to protect their minorities versus what Harmon announced and his pronouncements thereafter in between. Until now, he has not called off his goons. But thank God for former Minister Lawrence, my friend, for going to meet all these peoples, and, the law, and thank God for President uh, Dr. Irfan Ali for in deciding to call in the international interlocutors, the United Nations, the CARICOM, to investigate what happened and what caused these unnecessary deaths. I really would like Freddie Kisson to make a pronouncement on that. Back to the article. Two other minds have to be examined for the shape they had before. Dr. Ali swearing and since he acquired the presidency. Well, we know he has been speaking peace, goodwill, love, joy, harmony, care, protection for all peoples. Right? And... Um, he has been speaking more and more of the goodwill and uh, the safety and development of all Guyanese. God bless President Dr. Irfan Ali. And as I wrap up, ladies and gentlemen, two other minds have to be examined. Okay, Dr. Ali is swearing in, and since he acquired the presidency, um, okay, and the two other minds are. Vincent Alexander, he's not saying, saying the president might need to be examined. He's saying they are Vincent Alexander and Lincoln Lewis, like I just said. Vincent Alexander has hauled himself out, like how Ramchitan, with his in legal intellectual uh, bearing, would say, haul your, for which he is famous internationally, and for which they would use Ron Robinson might use for one of his future productions at the Culture Center, uh, maybe in the new um, Republic anniversary, as he normally likes to do it. And they will use the whole year and sugar too big to fall by Moses Nagamoto. And the other gentleman is Lincoln Lewis, whom I just spoke of. He has lost his credibility. How can he reclaim that? More on these two later. I can hardly wait, Freddy. Good luck to you, Freddy. Thank you, brother. Thank you, Kaicho News. Thank you, uh, publisher Glenn Lal.
for the wonderful things you have been doing for democracy and harmony and life in Guyana. Thank you.